So there's a subtitle of my book called Why It Takes 12 Frogs to Find a Prince. This actually comes from game theory, where, leaving aside a lot of complicated mathematics, what they found is if, and I should say as a caveat, you have to give up the idea that there is one true love out there, but if you just want someone at the top of the dating pool, all you have to do is date 12 people, and then after those first 12, the next person who comes along, who's better than those first 12? If you choose that person as your partner, you have a very high percentage chance of getting someone in the top 10% of the dating pool and almost no chance of getting someone in the bottom 25% of the dating pool. So if you're willing to take a leap on love and actually give mathematics a chance, there's your mathematical advice. Some scientists suggest that the female orgasm may be what's known as a cryptic sexual selection device. One of the pieces of evidence that they base this on is the, is the research that has shown that women actually tend to orgasm more frequently with symmetrical men. And the reason this is important is that symmetricality is actually a sign of health and genetic fitness. And so sometimes some scientists suggest that the female orgasm is basically trying to sexually select the sperm of those genetically superior men.